Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to see about creating checkboxes. For example, if you see there are three checkboxes here, we will see how to create these checkboxes and how to assign some logic or conditions or some activity for this checkbox. For example, now there are three checkboxes here. So here we will define some condition that when we are selecting this checkbox, it will display this which checkbox is selected and which is not selected. So here this car and cycle are selected. So now after I submit the button, so it should properly identify and say which is selected and which is not selected. So that is the simple program which we are going to see it in this video. So now this two are selected and uh, let's click on submit. Now we got output that car is checked, cycle is checked and bike is not selected. Now let's see how to create this one. Now let's create a new program, file, new and click on new project. So here we'll just select an empty template. So this is an empty template. So we'll use this one for creating the program. We can give any name here. For example, we can give check box and remaining everything or default values. So we did not have to change anything. Now the environment is completely loaded and we got two files here. One is main activity dot kt and another one is activity underscore main dot xml. So as you know, this activity main dot xml is for creating the layout and main activity dot kt is for writing the code. So first we will design the layout and here there is a default text already. So we can remove this. We don't need this one. Let's uh, select buttons here. Let's drag and drop three checkboxes. So one, two, and three. Okay. Now let us position these three checkboxes. So first one will be a little bit on the top side. We'll put it here on the top side. And second one again we'll position it. And we'll position the third one also. Now let's add a button here. So we can just select drag and drop a button. And then again, we can fix the position where it should be. So now three checkboxes are created and one button is created. Now we can give the names to it. So here for checkbox one, we can give the text as car. And checkbox two, we can give it as like bike. And checkbox three, we can give it as cycle. And we can also rename this button to instead of button, we can put it as submit. Okay. Next, we'll modify the IDs. So here it is checkbox. So we can modify it to CB1. So that is checkbox one. Next, we'll modify this one to CB2. Similarly, we'll also change the ID of third checkbox to CB3. So now the design part is completed. Now let's create the code for it. So for creating the code, we have to go to main activity dot kt. And now we'll create four variables because we have used three checkboxes and we have used one button. So for all those four items, we have to create a variables. So it is var car. And what it is car is a checkbox. So we can define it as a checkbox. Similarly, var bike. And this will is a checkbox again. So we can define it as a checkbox. Next, VAR cycle. This is also a checkbox. So we can define it as a checkbox. Next, we are having a button. So VAR button. And this is a type of it is button. B -O -T -T. Okay. So all those four variables are defined. And here, since we are using a checkbox, we have to add it to a latent parameter. So late int means these variables will be declared or initialized during the course of the program. And next late init for button. So now we have declared four variables. Next, we have to map the IDs that like what is the text box ID and to which variable it should be assigned. This is very, very simple. So we have to just write car equal to find view by id r dot id 
and car belongs to checkbox one so we have to select checkbox one similarly bike equal to find u by id r dot id and it is checkbox two next is for cycle cycle equal to find u by id r dot id and cycle belongs to checkbox three okay and uh, next one is button button equal to find u by id r dot id and its id is button so now we have mapped the ids to all the four variables next is we have to define the logic so in our program when the button is clicked and when the items are checked and once the button is submitted then it will identify whether it is selected or not selected for that we have to define a on click listener button dot on click listener car is checked that means if this is checked then what is the display so if if car is checked the condition will be car dot set text so here we are adding a text for displaying so here we will say car is selected and again if at all if the car is not selected then we will define a else condition else car dot set text car is not selected when the checked condition is matched so it will display car is selected message and in case if it is not matched then it will go into the else condition and the displayed and car is not selected message will be displayed similarly we have to define for bike and cycle okay if bike is checked then we'll mention the condition for it bike dot set text the text will be bike is selected if this is not sub matching then we have to define else condition else bike dot set text bike is not selected so this is for bike similarly we'll create for cycle also so if cycle dot is checked if cycle is checked then the condition will be cycle dot set text cycle is selected if this condition is not matched it will be going to else condition which is else cycle dot set text the message is cycle is not selected so this is the coding uh, friends so now let us try to execute it so i'm just going to the emulator and i am starting the emulator now the virtual emulator has started and we got three check boxes car bike cycle and a button called as submit so we will select car and cycle bike is not selected and let us see what is the message we are getting when we are clicking on the submit button so now let's click on submit button so here the text has changed now the car is selected and cycle is mentioned as selected and bike is not selected so this is what which we have expected so based upon the if condition the checkbox is evaluated and the text is displayed so this is a very very simple program so hope uh, everyone understood it so in case of any doubts or any feedbacks you can always feel free to share your comments in the comment section if you are not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe so that you will be stay up to date on the upcoming new videos thank you thanks for watching